So the price of getting an oil change on your truck has gone up like crazy. When I first started back in 2021, you know, I remember get, for getting, you know, just the basic maintenance on the truck, which is, you know, check the fuel levels, the oil change, filters and all that. You know, it used to be around 300 to 350, you know, depending where you went, even at places like the TA and Petro, it was maybe in the higher 300s, but now ever since since the pandemic, it's been like at least 500, depending where you go, you know, different places, different prices. But not just that, the places that I've gone to take my, uh, get an oil change, which is there's a Freightliner dealership close to where I live by, they're always missing some type of filter, with, whether it's the fuel water separator or the the fuel filter. There's always one filter missing, and you know whenever you get 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 an oil change, you know they usually sell the filters in kits. But always something. So that's why I started doing my own oil changes, and for a while I was doing my own, but. Here where I live, it's a really small town outside of Lubbock, Texas. And there's the mechanic. There's no truck stops here because it's a really small town. So no truck stop. So where I park my truck is is at a mechanic's house. You know, this mechanic has been so awesome to me. Anytime I have some type of work that I need to be doing on my truck, you know, he, he's able to do it for a really low cost. Compared to to dealership or even any other type of mechanic shop over the road. I mean, he has helped me save so much money and he always comes through. But yeah, I started buying my own filter. started buying my own oil, which he, and he changes it. You know, since he let me park the truck here, you know, I try to give him as much work as I can. You know, because I try to park my truck uh, pretty close to where I live and... And I ended up getting a, a warning from the local police department that I couldn't park my truck there. So I ended up coming over here and parking at his place. He's cool. He, he don't charge me anything. And he lets me uh, park it for however long. But this is, I started buying my, the oil that I guess, Shell Rotella 15W40. And I ordered it from Walmart, which for, I ordered two five gallon buckets. For one five gallon bucket, it cost me around 75, 80 bucks. And for my filters, which I buy them in a filter kit, I buy them from Amazon, which that, which it, it comes with all three filters, the fuel water separator, the oil filter, and the fuel filter. And that cost me around 75 to 80 bucks too, for all three of them on Amazon. Which I've been buying them, you know, for a couple of years now. I've never had any type of issues. They are aftermarket, but I've never had any type of issues. So, you know, I've always gone from there. As far as the oil goes, you know, I have have a you can you find them at local Walmart. I'm sure you can, but I started ordering them online just because where I live, you know, have a small Walmart. Usually they don't have any five gallon buckets and it's more cost effective when you buy them in buckets but out of them on, online on Walmart I do have Walmart plus so I get free shipping so you know I just get them shipped to my house and whenever I get home you know they're they're waiting for me but you know let's check them out So these are the filters. Got the oil filter, fuel filter, fuel water, fuel water separator filter. You know, get all three of them. And then I buy, I buy two of these. Which not only that, you know, I get to be. I get to be at home, you know, get the oil changes done at the convenience of me being at home and not having to do it over the road.
it has been pretty awesome to do the oil changes at home. It saves me a lot of headache. So I have a 20, 2016 Fairlander Cascadia. I'm going to put a link in the description to the filters that I get on Amazon and the oil that I get from Walmart. There's two different kits that I get. One, one of them, it does have the cabin air filter and the other one doesn't. So I usually, I alternate when I change out the cabin air filter. I don't change them out every time I get an oil change.